This is Kevin Murphy from Rip Tracks and Mystery Science Theater 3000. Hey, this is Mark from Casting Crowns. Hey, this is Alan Powell from the film The Song. Hey, this is Christian Kane. This is Colin Mockery. Hello, everybody. This is Irony Singleton, a.k.a. T-Dog from The Walking Dead. And you are listening to my main man, Brandon. The last thing I want to try to get to, I'm not be much longer, I'm going to jump down this list of Shang-Chi. So if you haven't seen Shang-Chi, I'll try to pull up some photos uh, to kind of illustrate some of the things. Because some things, they just don't make any sense to me, right? And people's love of the film is still just weird to me. Like, I'm not understanding that that you can look past certain things. And And I really was not particularly kind to the film. Probably not for some of the reasons that other people like or dislike the film. Uh, so there's a, there's a scaffolding scene. I was trying to get a, just a photo to open, but I keep ending up with videos. Let me see this one was open. I just want to open the photo. I don't need, that's close enough. That's good enough. I can see it. Okay. All right. So let me share the shot. So it, okay. I'm going to go into like heavy Shang-Chi spoilers. So if you have not seen Shang-Chi, probably don't want to watch this part. Um, Okay, so this is a scene when they go and they are outside of the fight club and now they're being attacked. And this, this, is, this is the external part of the building. This giant skyscraper scene, which is ironic, right? The underground fight club, right? no one speaks of fight club, is in the skyscraper. And this is all the Ten Ring assassins coming for Shang-Chi. And that's what I'm calling him. Shan, is it Shan Chi? They want us to say Shan Chi. It's, it's Shang Chi. I don't care what they say. Uh, all I had to go back and make sure this is all bamboo. What the heck is bamboo? Who's building bamboo scaffolding? On is that something they do? I was so distracted by that's bamboo. And there are shots where he grabs a piece and like kind of like you know the whole the the you know hold the pole and ride the pole across and i felt like that was the only reason they did bamboo that's a pretty crappy reason to have bamboo i don't know that was just terrible to me um one of my main criticisms of the shang chi movie is that there's just no guns i wanted to google and see are there any guns at all in this movie did anybody show up with guns I have nothing. I have no, I got a bunch of random photos. I see no guns. I didn't see any guns. So obviously we have the attack in the bus. We have the attacks in the skyscraper. We have all of this stuff. There is no guns. None. I, is Shane, was Shane Chi last two seconds against Winter Soldier? He's just shooting. There's like, and it's like, there would be like, um, what was it? it was this terrible line. Let me paraphrase this line. Um, the dad, yeah, the dad shows up, and they've sent the bad guys after the after uh, Shang Chi and Katie, and says something like, "Yeah, I, I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you," and I assume they meant death dealer mostly. But I'm like, wait, what? What? What do you mean? It, it was so confusing. And and Kate, why is Katie along for this ride in this film? She's just this 10-year-old weird, awkward friend who has, like, no abilities other than crashing a car because she drove the bus over other vehicles. She can't speak Chinese. That was revealed later on in the movie. Like, that was just so weird. I mean, I don't understand why Katie couldn't have been left behind, and then she's back. I mean, it was just – and again, I think I said it in my, in my review. They just, like, awkwardly play up that Shang-Chi might be gay because he doesn't have any real strong masculine characteristics and this lifetime friend just carrying her, just taking her around the world. So there's the scene when, um, let me go backwards to that, um, the horrible tease of the Fight Club where the Abomination showed up in like, what, 10 seconds of a trailer and everyone got all excited about Abomination and basically other than, abomination punching himself in the face everything was in the trailer and it was such a waste of time and energy and i mean i guess there's a point but what's weird is after it's done wang wong just takes him and they just leave 
they just will go off together like they're buds. And I'm like, well, is this like a stage fight? What's what's actually happening? And then you have this 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 like a tablet put in front of Shang Chi, and he's supposed to sign it, like he's signing his rights to go fight in the Fight Club, but he's fighting his sister, who basically just comes out to attack him. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's never really established, other than she's just mad that he left. Why is she attacking him? Like, you're telling me that, like, 10 years later, you're so mad that he left you home alone with the dad that you're just going to attack him in your little fight club? And if you really want him dead, then why didn't you just actually attack him? Like, I don't understand this weird, I don't know... Again, everyone just kind of skirts over these weird, convenient plot points. Like, it didn't make any sense to me. Like, I don't understand. And again, it doesn't make any sense that Shang-Chi's just going to run away to America, do nothing with his life for like a decade and be a valet. Like, it was so, I'm like, okay, well, was he on the run from the Ten Rings? No one went to go get him? I mean, he's a kid. He's like a teenager. What is he going to do? Just live in motels? Live on the street? Like, how did he even get money? And it's like, did it, why didn't there's no one that ever kept in contact like he just gets this random postcard 10 years later he thinks it's his sister like what anyway okay so then so all that all that fight club stuff happens and again that's the awkward every male has to be shown shirtless shang chi gets the honor of being the most awkward and shirtless male in the in the mcu at, at this point and we also act like these characters are, are superhuman. We saw a little bit with the bus scene, with the way they flip around and, and grab people and throw people. People are heavy. These one-arm grabbing people and slinging them things. People weigh 100 to 200 pounds on the average, and that's a rough thing. I mean, you can sling someone with the momentum of their weight, especially if they're coming at you, but you're not just randomly grabbing and throwing people. And then later when you're seeing people fall, and I think it was the sister that catches and saves Katie, like Katie would be dead or at least be so maimed. That'd be the end of her trip to China because you're falling a couple stories and someone grabs you. It's going to dislocate your shoulder, elbow, hand, wrist, whatever. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I'm overanalyzing, I guess. Most people don't care this much. It's fine. I have issues. I know I do. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I did. I really, really hated the fact that they made Win Wu like a knockoff version of Mandarin, but we still didn't make him Mandarin. He's basically Mandarin, but they want to call him that. So instead of being Fu, Fu Manchu, which is who Shang Chi's dad really is, they make him Mandarin. But we don't really make him Mandarin. We still have Trevor, Trevor Slaughtery around, who's like the dopey actor, which all was revealed in some little short that very few people saw. And he knows the secret way. It was, oh no, sorry. He can talk to the little winged Muppet that knows the secret way. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little tickle tonight. Sorry about that. All right, so then we get to the end. And what really bothers me Basically, the whole motivation of catching the two kids, getting their amulets, to put in the thing in the map, is he's hearing the voice of his dead woman, with his dead wife. He's convinced that she's talking to him. And they're like, well, no. When, they, when, they, when he comes through the weird moving forest, they tell him, no, 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 there's a demon, there's a monster, and the monster is trying to convince you to let him out by breaking the barrier that we're protecting no hesitation. Nope, you're wrong. It's my wife. Because that makes more sense than there could be a creature. And then as, there, as, as the scene progresses, or the, the battle does, they break this thing open. And like this creature comes out. Or, or, I'm sorry, a little mini, I don't know. What is this thing called? A little demon thing? I hate not knowing, but I don't care enough. And until I'm talking to you about it, I don't seem to look these up. A little demon. I don't see them. I got no names. I got nothing. You didn't tell me anything. 
I mean, nobody else cares either. Nope, don't know. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so the little the, the demon thing is inside. The little ones are coming out. When they grab them, that's what that's disintegrating people. After they start coming out, wouldn't you think when we would be like, well, wait a minute, maybe it is this creature. Maybe what else is in here that I'm turning loose? This guy's been around for like a thousand years, and he lacks any self-awareness or, or wisdom about what actually could be happening. It's just... And then when they start fighting again later, and Shang-Chi is basically like dead in the water floating, and then the other, the good dragon comes along and saves him, and he'll ride him out. But it's like, does he have oxygen? How did he save him? It was... I, look, I understand. I'm nitpicking certain pieces of it, but it, it creates sort of like... Um, it's like when you have like a loose thread on your clothes, and you start pulling it at it, and the hole just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And before long, you have this massive mess or you've ruined your clothing. And I'm thinking to myself, that's kind of how I felt about Shang-Chi. It's not as though... It, it's as though we have such inexperienced writers It's and the script never really got edited. No one ever went and said, listen, we got all these plot holes we need to talk through. We need to kind of map this out a little bit better. What if we reorganize this so we can kind of talk this through? It, none of that ever happened. And you have all these like these massive things. And I know it's something they just don't care about, right? They don't they, we know Aquafina went along for the ride because of comic relief. She was completely just a token comic relief. That's all she was. Right. And then um, and we know the Trevor Slatter Slattery nonsense and the little uh, wing Muppet thing was about just some jokes and to sell a toy. Okay, fair enough. But there's no common sense that you're talking about someone who's a thousand years old who wants to make Mandarin chicken jokes and punch a door to let a demon out and not have any wherewithal of, like, why did you need a special water map? You could just get over the thing with your magic bracelets? And I don't know. All right, this is where we've gotten to. Marvel is literally that bad, in my opinion. But most people liked it. The movie is doing well enough at the box office. I don't know where its profit margin must be. Um, but I don't think that they're disappointed is, would be my takeaway because of uh, blaming the pandemic and um, just some of the reviews were mixed. Yeah, well, it, did, it crossed 400 million. Now, I don't know that it'll make five. I always heard five was probably kind of like the benchmark now. When were it ranks in the Marvel rankings? Let me see if they have a MCU by money. Does it, does it show? Let me see title summary. Uh, it shows my country. No, it doesn't show me that. MCU by box office. There we go. Perfect. Shang Chi is in the middle of the pack. Nineteen. So this is oh some by American okay so that's done by U.S. If we don't want to do it that way we want to do can we change it to global worldwide yeah 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 right there worldwide Let's see if it'll change it for us because that was showing us oh no but it changed everything I don't want all of it I just want the franchise to be by global nope it's not gonna work like that hmm. All right. Well, you know, 400 million. I mean, I know I would have not necessarily bet that it was going to do that well, but it has. So, you know, good luck on them. So we go on to the Eternals next. I'm going to do a little thing on that here soon. Give you some thought to why. It doesn't look good to me. It does not look good to me. 